I've got a problem, people, and I need your help slash advice to try and resolve it. You'll see what I mean. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Welcome back to America. Um, for what possibly could actually be the last time, depending on circumstances. Um, where to start? Basically, I was trying to bring players in, as you know, um, trying to improve the side, and in the course of that, we were, well, we had at least six international players on our books. I was looking at bringing in a seventh to play up front as our as our star man, and um, for the person who suggested him, um, sadly, Board Finner turned us down, didn't want to come. So, <sighs> never mind. Um, however, <clears throat> during the course of that, obviously I was look, looking at it and thinking, well, I need some more international slots, and obviously they're one of the things you can trade for. So, I offered up the um, draft picks that other people had already given us. And we got some offers in. Some people were open to international slots to they had to trade. And I could have sworn there was one involved in a transfer deal I'd done already. And But anyway, I definitely arranged this deal. I think it was with Nashville. Um, a draft pick for an international slot for a year. And deal went through. Draft pick disappeared. International slot did not appear. So after a good deal of... Angry ranting, <laughs> you'll be surprised to hear. I went online and I had a look and it is a known bug. They are working on it. There should be a fix for it. I don't know if that fix is retroactive in terms of it will apply to a save you've already started. And I certainly don't know and I would be very surprised if it was retroactive and actually gave me the picks I have traded for because it realises that those transfers have been done and should be including those picks. So at best, we get to keep the save going and I have to arrange more deals to get the international slots that I need. Um, at worst, I'd have to restart the save. And I kind of don't want to do that because we've already got the story with that little clique that I had the problem with and it's kind of not going to happen again probably so I I don't know where it's and it's kind, of, it's kind of sucked the life out of the save for me unfortunately this a little bit but this is where you come in um, because I do have another idea and it's something I've never tried doing before on the game and what that way is is basically I can't see the players attributes at all I can see like their, their personality and, and that sort of thing but the attributes would be blanked out wouldn't be able to see them and I think that applies to staff as well but you can get someone to hire the staff I mean technically you can get someone to hire the players but that lasted about five minutes at, uh, at Bran when I tried it there, and I did not like it. Um, but so what I'd have to be relying on would be um, the stats, the scout reports, the coaching reports, the general feel of how they look on the pitch when I'm watching them. The sorts, it's basically the more real life way of playing the game. Because obviously in real life, you don't have these numbers. You can compile them possibly, you can give people a score, but it's all very subjective rather than that's actually definitely their number, that's how they're good they are. Which is effectively what the game gives you. Um, so it's a way of playing that I know a lot of people enjoy. It really does push it to its limits. I can tell you now, <laughs> probably not going to go well. So you're probably going to see me struggle a lot. And I promise I will try and keep a lid on my frustrations. Anyway, those are the two options. Um, please, please put down in the comments whether you'd like me to carry on in America or um, do the no attributes, um, more realistic save, which would be a journeyman. We'd start somewhere random. I'm not going to bring in loads of 
other leagues like I did for um, the last European one. I will just put all the leagues that are naturally just in the base game in there. We'll go somewhere with that if that's the way we go. But I would like your opinion on it. Obviously, if I start that one, I'm going to have to come up with a new title sequence. Um, <laughs> but that's for me to worry about. So, yeah, please put down in the comments below whether you want to stay in America or <clears throat> uh, go blind. Um, yeah, just one of those two phrases. America, go blind. Um, and yeah, we'll see We'll see where it goes. So there will be probably, unless it's overwhelmingly go blind um, in the very sort of near future after, <clears throat> after this video comes out, um, there will probably be a little bit of a hiatus because obviously I've got to wait for them to fix this because there's no point in me carrying on until that's fixed because I need those international slots and at the moment I just can't get them. Well, thank you for listening to this little bit of waffle and well, minor rant. Um, and uh, I will see you next time for whatever you choose. Bye-bye for now.